Hi student, this solved question paper is prepared for helping the exam preparation. Try to learn the style of answering when you go through the answers. Question 1. Study the extract of the survey of India map sheet NO 45D-10 and answer the following questions. Give a six-figure grid reference for the spot height 324 in northern part of the map extract. Answer, 076274. Give a four-figure grid reference for open scrub south of Dad Talau. Answer, 0721. What is the meaning of the term contour interval? Answer, difference between two consecutive contours. What is the contour interval of the sheet provided to you? Answer, contour interval is 20 meters. What is the area in kilometer square of the region between 06 and 09 Eastings and 22 and 27 Northings? Answer 15 square km. What is the significance of the following colors used on the survey map? Yellow color. Answer, used to show the agricultural land. Green color. Answer, used to show the area of forest. What is the compass direction of? Idar Law from Bamra. Answer, northeast. Dhana from Amarapura. Answer, southeast. Name the settlement pattern seen in the grid square 0819. Answer, scattered settlement pattern. Name the drainage pattern seen in the grid square 0827. Answer, trellised. Name two man-made features seen in the grid square 0723. Answer, settlements and temple. Cart track. Name two natural features seen in the grid square 0218. Answer. Sand dunes. Streams and Sukli Nadi. Barren land and. Plain land. What is the black horizontal line drawn between 18 and 19 northings? Answer. 40 minutes longitude. Name the most important settlement of the region shown on the map extract. Answer. Dantra. Draw the conventional symbol for each of the following. Lined perennial well used to show with blue dots. Seasonal tank used to show with black color irregular circles. Give one evidence to prove that the regions shown on the map extract receive scanty rainfall. Answer. Streams are seasonal. Shown with black color. Presence of broken ground indicate the seasonal rainfall. Motorable and dry season is printed along the cart tracks. What is 0.5 R in the grid square 0321? Answer, relative height relative height of the bank of the stream. Question 2. On the outline map of India provided. Mark and name Nilgiris. Mark and name Kochi. Mark and name the Karak Oram Pass. Mark and name 82 one half degree east longitude. Shade and name the Koromandel Coastal. Plain. Mark and name the river Brahmaputra. Mark and name the Gulf of Kutch. Mark and name the Satpura. Mark using arrows, the direction of the southwest monsoon wind during summer over the Arabian Sea and label it. Shade and label a sparsely populated region. In India. Question 3. Name one state in the northwestern part of India that receives rainfall during winter. Answer. Punjab, Haryana, and western side of Uttar Pradesh. What is the source of this rainfall? Answer, winter rainfall is the result of temperate cyclones originate from the Mediterranean Sea. Give a reason for each of the following. Rainy season in India is after the summer season. In summer, the land gets heated more than the sea. Hence there develops a center of low pressure on the land. Winds blow from the Indian Ocean to the land. So, the second half of the summer season is rainy season in India. Tamil Nadu has more rainy months than Kerala, yet, Kerala receives more rainfall than Tamil Nadu. Kerala is located in the western side of the Western Ghats and receives more rainfall during the monsoon season. But Tamil Nadu is located in the eastern side and is in the rain shadow region of the Western Ghats during the monsoon season. Tamil Nadu receives rainfall mainly from the retreating monsoon when the winds blow from the Bay of Bengal. What do you understand by the term burst of monsoon? Name the state that experiences the burst of monsoon. The rain-bearing monsoons are extremely strong and violent. Their approach is accompanied by thunder and lightning. 
This is known as breaking of monsoon. Even though India gets abundant rainfall during the rainy season, yet, some places experience drought. Explain giving suitable examples. Dar Desert which is located in the western side, rain shadow region, of the Aravalli Mountains receive less rainfall as the Bay of Branch of the southwest monsoon blow from the east. Northern part of the Jammu and Kashmir receives almost no rainfall during the monsoon season as it is in the rain shadow region of the Himalayas. The state Meghalaya is surrounded by three hills named Garo, Kasai and Jaintia. So, Cherapunji and Mazanram that are located south of these hills receives heaviest rainfall over 1,200 cm every year. But Chilong, which is located a few kilometers away from Cherapunji receives only 250 cm of rainfall in one year. Why is Shimla colder than Delhi during summer? Shimla is a hill station of the Himalayas. High altitude of the Shimla makes it a low temperature area. Delhi is the part of the northern plains. Lower altitude of Delhi is the reason for the higher temperature here. Study the climatic data given below and answer the questions that follow. Calculate the annual range of temperature. 32.6 degrees Celsius. State whether the station is located in the coastal area or in the continental interior. Interior. Name the wind that brings most of the rainfall to this area. Southwest monsoon. Question 4. Name the parent rock that contributes to the formation of red soil. Answer, red soil is formed from the old crystalline rocks. How does this soil get its red color? Answer, red soil is red in color due to presence of iron oxide in it. Name the following. A soil that occurs in situ and is good for cotton crop. Answer, black soil. Soil that is formed due to high temperature and heavy rainfall. Laterite soil, leached soils are formed in the regions that experiences heavy seasonal rainfall followed by long dry period during the summer. With reference to alluvial soil answer the following. What are the two types of alluvial soil? Answer. Kadar alluvial soil. Banjar alluvial soil. Name an area where alluvial soil is found. Answer. Northern Plains, Sundarbans, Mahanadi and Godavari Deltas, Eastern Coastal Plains. Name two crops that grow well in the soil. Answer, wheat, rice, sugar cane, jute etc. Define the term residual soil. Answer, soil which is found in the place of origin. Name two crops that are grown on late right soil. Answer, tapioca, cashew tree, tea and coffee. Name two important agents of soil erosion. Answer, water, wind. Question 5. State two ways by which forests help in protecting the environment. Forests reduce soil erosion. They are the source of oxygen. Trees give shelter to the animals. They help the environment by regulating the temperature. Any two points. With reference to tropical deciduous forests answer the following questions. Name two states where it is found. Answer, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Odisha etc. Name two important trees found in this forest. Answer, Teak, Sal, Sandalwood etc. Briefly explain the following. Why are tropical evergreen forests called evergreen? Answer, Trees remain green throughout the year. Why is afforestation essential in the cities that have iron and steel industries? Natural vegetation that surrounds the integrated steel plants reduce the effects of pollution. Trees are a proven solution for air, soil, noise, and water pollutions. How do forests act as a source of income for the people? We get many valuable things from the forests. They include Ayurvedic medicines, honey, timber etc. Give a reason for each of the following. The tropical deciduous forest is commercially the most important forest belt in India. Trees are hardwood and heavy wood. So, they are best for making furniture. Forests are open in nature. So, trees can be transported easily from the forests. Trees are found in pure stands. So, identification is easy. Because of the above mentioned reasons, 
monsoon forests are commercially important forests. Tropical evergreen forests occur on the windward side of Western Ghats. Tropical evergreen forests are found on the western side of the Western Ghats due to the well-distributed heavy rainfall. It is very difficult to move through tidal forests. Wet nature of the soil and swamps make the movements difficult. Roots that are grown upwards from the soil. They act like spikes. Snakes and reptiles like crocodiles are common here. Question 6. Mention any two methods of recharging groundwater aquifers. Dig percolation pits and soak away pits. Practice rainwater harvesting. Terrace farming, contour plowing, and strip cropping etc. reduces the runoff of the water and makes water to percolate into the soil. Plant more trees to reduce the runoff of the water. Name the most common means of irrigation used in India. Answer, wells. Give one reason for the popularity of this means of irrigation in our country. Easy to dig. Easy to operate. Wells can be dug at a very low cost. Farmers have control over the supply of water. Name two states of India where canal irrigation is extensively used. Answer, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan etc. Name the types of canals used in India. Answer, Perennial canals. Inundation canals. Mention one point of difference between the types of canals mentioned by you. Perennial canals are perennial. Inundation canals are seasonal. Inundation canals can't regulate the flow of water. What geographical conditions make irrigation necessary in the country? Indian agriculture depends on monsoons, which are seasonal. But India has a year-long agricultural season. India experiences uneven distribution of rain. A regular supply of water is the main requirement for the HYV seeds. Sandy soil and loamy soil require frequent irrigation to do the agricultural activities. How has irrigation changed the cropping pattern in India? With irrigation, we are able to cultivate throughout the year. Crops that need more water can be cultivated with irrigation. Why is there a scarcity of surface water in our country? Indian agriculture depends on monsoons which are seasonal. But India has a year-long agricultural season. India experiences uneven distribution of rain. A regular supply of water is the main requirement for the HYV seeds. Sandy soil and loamy soil require frequent irrigation to do the agricultural activities. Question 7. Why is iron ore called the backbone of our modern industry? Iron ore is used mainly for extraction of iron and is further used for the production of steel. Steel is the most popular, most widely used metal in the construction industry. It's also the most recycled material on the planet, making it a very eco-friendly option for construction. People in the construction industry love steel because it can produce extremely sustainable structures that can be built quickly at low prices. Mention two uses of iron ore. About 90% of iron ore is used to make steel. Powered iron is used in manufacturing metallurgy products. Radioactive iron is used in medicine as tracer elements. Iron blue is used in paints, printing inks etc. Low-grade iron is compacted and converted into pellets and then exported. Mention one agricultural and one industrial problem solved by the Bakra Nangal Dam. Agricultural water of the Sutlej River is diverted to the agricultural fields of Punjab, Haryana, and Rajasthan. It also reduces flood in the Sutlej River. Industrial Bakra Nangal is a multi-purpose project mainly used for the generation of electricity. It helps industries by making electricity available. Name the state that is the leading producer of manganese. Odisha. Name the mineral oil field of India which is the largest producer of petroleum. Mumbai High. Mention two advantages of using geothermal energy over coal. Geothermal energy is eco-friendly slash causes no pollution. Cheap. Mention one disadvantage of using natural gas as a source of power. India imports petroleum products from foreign countries. So, loss of foreign exchange. It causes more pollution in comparison to hydroelectric power projects. 
natural gas is a non-renewable resource. It is a combustible material. So, handle with care. How is the residue from a biogas plant put to use? Residue of the biogas plants can be used as a manure in the agricultural fields. It can be used as a fuel in domestic sector. Why is the use of alternative sources of energy becoming essential in modern time? Fossil fuels are exhaustible and non-renewable. Non-conventional sources of energy cause less pollution. Question 8. Mention two points of difference between subsistence farming and commercial farming. Commercial agriculture subsistence agriculture. Crops are grown for trade. Crops are raised for the consumption of the farmer's family. It is practiced on large farms. It is practiced on small farms. It is capital intensive. It is labor intensive. Modern technology and modern implements are used. Old technology and old implements are used. Example, production of sugarcane in Uttar Pradesh. Example, production of wheat in some parts of India. Explain briefly the following terms. Ginning. Answer, separation of seeds from the cotton fiber. Ratuning. Answer, a method of growing new crop of sugarcane in which the cane is cut close to the ground and the next crop grows from the stalk left behind. With reference to the wheat crop answer the following questions. Name the state which is the leading producer of this crop in India. Answer, Uttar Pradesh. Mention the climatic condition found suitable for the cultivation of this crop. Temperature, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. Rainfall, 50 to 80 centimeters. Light winter rainfall from the western disturbances. Give a geographical reason for each of the following. Cultivation of rice requires flat level land. Stagnant water is needed for the cultivation of rice. Flat level land allows easy arrangements of land. Pulses are important rotation crops. Pulses are leguminous plants. They add nitrogenous compounds to the soil. Bajra and jowar are grown as dry crops. Bajra and jowar need very less water for the cultivation. These crops can be cultivated even in high temperature regions. Question 9. Give two reasons as to why Mumbai has developed into an important cotton textile center. Availability of raw material, black cotton soil region of Deccan Trap region provides cheap, and quality raw cotton. Favorable climate, the humid climate of Mumbai is suited for the production of high quality cotton textile. Export facility. Mumbai is the largest seaport in India. Through it, importing of raw materials and exporting of finished goods are possible. Finance, Mumbai is a major center of industries as it is a great financial and commercial center. Market, there is a large demand for cotton cloth both in peninsular India and rest of the country due to the warm climate throughout the year. What are basic industries? Basic industry is a heavy industry which is fundamental to the other industries e.g., iron and steel industry. Give one example of a basic industry in India. Iron and steel industry, petrochemical industry. State two problems faced by the silk industry of India. Scarcity in the supply of high-quality raw materials. Seasonal availability of the raw material. Scarcity of skilled labors. The technology used in this industry is outdated and obsolete. Competition from synthetic textile. Mention the most important factor for location of sugar industries. Sugar mills are located close to the fields because sugar cane tends to dry very fast. Briefly answer the following. From where does the Rerkla steel plant obtain its supply of coal? Answer, Yeharia. From where does the Tata iron and steel plant obtain its supply of iron ore? Answer, Banagarha. Name two cities that are important for the production of electronics. Answer, Bengaluru, Hyderabad. Question 10. With reference to waterways answer the following questions. Mention two advantages of inland water transport. Waterways are the cheapest means of transport. It is the most suitable means for carrying heavy and bulky goods. It is a fuel-efficient and environment-friendly mode of transport. The element of wear and tear, maintenance cost, 
is less. Why is inland water transport not well developed in India? Water transport is limited to the areas where rivers are navigable. Perennial rivers are found only in North India. Even though all means of transport are well developed in India, yet, road transport remains the most popular means of transport. Justify this statement. Roads are the only possible means of transport in the hilly regions. They are more accessible to different places than other means of transportation. Roads can act as feeders to the railways and waterways. Easy to construct and maintain. The movement of goods is safer through road transport as the chances of pilferage are less than in the railways. Give a reason for each of the following. Roadways is not well developed in northeast India. Steep slopes of the mountains and swift flowing streams make transportation difficult in the northern mountainous regions. Railways are under the public sector. To ensure cheap fare charges. For the better development of mineral exploration. A good network of transport is of great help for the development of the economy. A good network of transport ensures easy movement of raw material and finished products and thus beneficial for the development of the industries and economy. Give two disadvantages of airways. Air transport is very costly. Flights are often delayed due to bad weather conditions. Air transport can carry small tonnage but has high freight charges. Why is there an increase of airway traffic in recent years? Online reservation system is more convenient for booking the tickets. Increase in trade and tourism. Increase of GDP in many countries. Competition of private companies brought fair charges lower and thus attracting more people to airways. Question 11. What do you mean by segregation of waste? Answer, physical separation of waste into different categories. Why is segregation of waste essential before its disposal? Segregation makes the disposal of waste easier. Segregation is needed for recycling. Different types of waste should be treated separate. Why should sewage be treated before disposal? Sewage depletes the oxygen and disturbs the balance of aquatic life. Huge quantity of domestic sewage does not give any time to the environment to recover. Briefly answer each of the following. What is the effect of waste accumulation on terrestrial life? Waste accumulation cause foul smell. Increase of rodents and housefly. Water runoff pollutes the water slash cause air pollution. It harms the plant kingdom by changing the soil metabolism. Diseases spread due to the increased growth of microorganisms. What are the consequences of water pollution? Sewage depletes the oxygen and disturbs the balance of aquatic life. Fish and other aquatic animals may die due to the pollution created by waste. What is the benefit of composting? Composting is a method of decomposing the organic solid waste into humus, using microorganisms. It is used in the agricultural fields to improve the fertility of the soil. It also reduces the pollution due to biodegradable waste. How can recycling of waste help in reducing waste? Explain with suitable examples. We can make new materials from the used items. E.g. cardboard from used paper. It reduces the waste as it converts a useless product to useful product. Mention one initiative taken by the government to manage waste. Swak Bharat Abhiyan has contributed in reducing the waste generation through composting. Government encourages paperless processing. Government encourages 3RS of waste management. It takes initiatives to recycle. Subsidy is given for biogas plants. How can you as an individual contribute towards waste management? Sell waste like plastic, paper, glass etc. Reuse the materials like plastic bottles, carry bags etc. Convert biodegradable waste to compost or use them for the preparation of biogas. Subscribe our channel to know about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.